let's tackle the questions in the passport tag. I found this tag through JQ Nomad's channel. I met JQ Nomad at VidCon and I thought this was a super cool tag so I thought I would send it to you. Five questions on passport things. Let's get to it. This is question one. What is your most recent stamp? The most recent stamp I have is from going to Amsterdam. I do have a couple other ones and to be entirely honest, the one from Amsterdam is really faint. It's really faint, but it's right there. So that is the most recent tag I have from when I went to VidCon in Europe. What was your first stamp? My first ever passport stamp was actually for, I think, Germany. And that's because I was going to Europe and often when you go through Europe, there's a lot of um, a lot of points, at least that I travel, it's cheapest to go through Germany and hop on trains and go different places. So my first ever passport stamp was from Germany. It is not in this book because one that I had was stolen. Sad, but I think there's other German. Yeah, in fact, here's one from Frankfurt right there. It's not the first one, but there you go. Frankfurt, Maine. Question number three, what is your coolest looking stamp? The coolest one I had was the one I had from Japan, and that one sadly is not in this booklet because that booklet was stolen. So the ones that I have, they're not that particularly interesting. In fact, you just saw them. That's pretty much it right now. They're pretty much squares with dates on them. I wish passports were a little fancier, like passport stamps. Now the passport itself, I don't know if you guys have seen the new like 2.0 versions of US passports, but they're full of like very patriotic stuff. Look, there's an eagle right there. What would Craig say? Um, there's another eagle, oh my gosh. So. The passport itself is kind of fancy looking, but so far not any fancy stamps. Maybe in the future, but honestly at this point, I'm just happy if the passport stamping process goes smoothly. My most meaningful stamp. The most meaningful one, again, would probably be the one from VidCon in Europe, from Amsterdam. That's because this is the first time I ever tackled going to Europe on my own. I'd been to Amsterdam once before, but traveling in a place where English is not necessarily always what's spoken. Uh, very much people in Amsterdam are often able and often will speak English. We with you if that's a really major concern but it was a really meaningful stamp for me because it was a stamp about me traveling by myself so that's why I love that one the most difficult stamp to get none of these were very difficult for me to attain there wasn't a, a stamp that I had to get to get out of Amsterdam that process was really difficult there was just a lot of turns and twists and there's been a lot of changes with international travel for American citizens in the last year the one in Japan I don't remember that being very like challenging at all and every single time I've gone through Frankfurt which is numerous times it's been really, really fast just to get through there. So I've never had a challenge getting my passport stamp. A knock on passport, because I would really like that to continue to be the case. So that is the simple five question passport tag. And that's a little bit about my travels, some of my travels in the past. And a question I'm gonna add to the end of this is what passport stamp am I really looking forward to getting? And that is India. I'm really curious to see what that passport stamp will look like. So hopefully we'll see that in the future. I've got some plans. I got some pokers in the fire about going to India. It'd be really rad. Any, honestly, going anywhere is really rad. I'm always very happy to travel domestically or internationally. You guys know this, I'm a travel kind of gal. So I hope you all are having wonderful adventures. Thank you to my friend, JQ Nomad, for taking part in this tag and therefore being a person that I can learn about this tag from. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite passport stamp is or if you've got a cool story about a passport. Thanks for watching, Rockstar. We're getting lost in travel. It's Amara, not in Seattle. That's the channel you're on. I'm in Seattle right now, but that's a travel channel. Uh, and speaking of which, there are two other channels. Amara in Seattle is my main channel. That's lifestyle as an adventure. And I also have Amara in Seattle vlogs. That's my vlogging channel. It's like DVD bonus content, everything else. You, however, are on Amara not in Seattle where we get lost in travel. And I'm about to go get lost in thinking about my next trip. I'm considering looking at some special airline tickets. My friend Parajetta said there might be amazing airline ticket through a Norwegian airline to get to London. I mean, that just sounds like a whole adventure. So I'm gonna go check that out. I hope you guys are having great times getting lost in travel. Bye, friends. Woo, passport out.